And some men were present in that time that told to him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate mingled with the sacrifices of them. And he answered and said to them, We need that these men of Galilee were sinners more than all Galileans, for they suffered such things. I say to you, Nay, all ye shall perish in like manner, but ye have penance. And as those eighteen on which the tower in Siloam fell down and slew them, guess ye that they were debtors more than all the men that dwell in Jerusalem? I say to you, Nay, but also ye shall perish if ye do not penance. And he said this like and he said this likeness. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit in it and found none. And he said to the tiller of the vineyard, Lo, three years be since I come seeking fruit in this fig tree, and I find none. Therefore cut it down. Where to occupieth it the earth? And he answering said to him, Lord, suffer it also this year, the while I delve about it, and I shall dung it. If it shall make fruit, if not, in time coming thou shalt cut it down. And he was teaching in their synagogue in the Sabbaths, and lo, a woman that had a spirit of sickness eighteen years, and was crooked, and neither in any manner might look upward, whom when Jesus had seen, he called to him, and said to her, Woman, thou art delivered of thy sickness. And he set on his and he set on her his hands, and anon she stood upright and glorified God. And the prince of the synagogue answered, having disdained for Jesus, had he having disdained for Jesus had healed in the Sabbath. And he said to the people, There be six days in which it behoveth to work. Therefore come ye in these days, and be ye healed, and not in the day of Sabbath. But the Lord answered to him and said, Hypocrite, whether each of you untieth not in the Sabbath his ox or ass from the cratch and leadeth to water, behooved it not this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, eighteen years, to be unbound of this bond in the day of Sabbath? And when he said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people joyed in all things that were glorious done of him. Therefore he said, to what thing is the kingdom of God like, and to what thing shall I guess it to be like? It is like a, to a, it is like to a corn of sinapi, which a man took and cast into his garden, and it waxed and was made into a great tree, and fowls of the air rested in the branches thereof. And again he said, To what thing shall I guess the kingdom of God like? It is like to sourdough that a woman took and hid it in three measures of meal till all were soured. And he went by cities and castles, teaching and making journey into Jerusalem. And a man said to him, Lord, if there be few that be saved, and he said to them, Lord, if there be few that be saved, and he said to them, Strive ye to enter by the straight gate, for I say to you, many seek to enter, and they shall not be able. For when the husbandman is entered, and the door is closed, you shall begin to stand without forth, and knock at the door, and say, Lord, open to us, and he shall answer and say to you, I know you not of whence ye be. Then ye shall begin to say, We have eaten before thee and drunk, and in our streets thou hast taught. And he shall say to you, I know you not of whence ye be. Go away from me, all ye workers of wickedness. There shall be weeping and grinding of teeth, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you to be put out. And they shall come from the east and west and from the north and south, and shall sit at the meat in the realm of God. And lo, they that were the first be the last, and they that were the last be the first. In that day some of the Pharisees came nigh and said to him, Go out and go from hence, for Herod will slay thee. And he said to them, Go ye and say to that fox, Lo, I cast out fiends and I make perfectly healings, today and tomorrow, and the third day I am ended. Nevertheless, it behooveth me today and tomorrow, and the day that pursueth to walk, for it falleth not a prophet to perish out of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that slayest prophets and stonest them that be sent to thee, how oft would I gather together thy sons, as a bird gathereth his nest under feathers, and thou wouldest not. Lo, 
your house shall be left to you desert and I shall say to you that ye shall not see me till it come when ye shall say blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord